Hello and welcome to UK Northern Adventures. I've had a few requests on YouTube asking me to do um, an in detail top tent setup. I'm going to try and do it as best as possible. I'm using a 3x3 DD tarp. Now you can use a, a DD tarp or any other tarp. The British Army Basher, that's also, you can also use that so you can do a tarp tent with that and it's, it, it works for one man setup. Um, at a squeeze this 3x3 three three is quite spacious so this will actually accommodate yourself and all your gear that you've got so it's quite a good setup and I'll run you through the whole thing now so one top 3x3 three three, and a set of poles additionally I've got another set of poles and I'll, sh I'll show you why I've got them because I I do something a little bit different. If you don't have poles, you can use walking sticks, um, hiking hiking sticks, you can use the saplings that you cut down, anything like that. So let me get everything sorted out and then I'll jump back and show you. So you've got your 3B3 laid out nice and flat. That's how you should start off with. And then you'll notice that there's your two corners, a center tie off, and two in between tie-offs. So basically where you're gonna start pegging is your in-between tie-offs. So at this point, I'm going to select the second tying from the outside and I'll peg that down. I go to this end, stretch it out nicely and again, select the second tie-off from the outside. Pull it nice and taut and peg it. Now, what I'm gonna do again on the side of the top, I'm going to select the second tie off yet again. And I'm gonna tie that off. Same on this side. To start off with, don't bother too much about stretching it so much. You can always readjust your pegs. Now what you do, you pick that up there and we fold those corners in. As you see, you can readjust as you go along. Now we're on the front end of the shelter and we're gonna work on the more or less same principle as the back, but with a difference. Your first tie off from the side, that's where your corner is actually gonna go and peg in. So if you just put a temporary peg on there, then you know where to bring it into. So you bring that in to there. And we can peg that down. Now we're going to do the same on this side. So put in a marker there. Bring in your corner to where that marker is. And peg that down. Okay, now that we've got the top all laid out and all pegged in the appropriate corners, we now got to lift this up. So, on your center of the top, 
you got a center tie off. That tie off has got a reinforcement that runs all the way down. So you choose the second one in again. So it would be that one. And that is where your pole is gonna go onto because that's reinforced section. So one, two, three, four. So you're looking at about four foot pole you're gonna need. So we put them all together. And what I like to do is use the bag as a support. Now you should really tie this off. I'm not going to do for this one because this is only a temporary one to show you. So that will allow, that won't allow the, the top to be damaged. They'll protect your top. So now that we've got the shelter up, we want to sort out the entrance of the shelter. So we take the first tie off and we put a guideline on there. Now what we've got, we've left with a little canopy that extends the length of the shelter. So that's a little canopy, but all these are still all over the place. So we're going to tidy them up now. So at this point, all that's left is to tidy up the front. So on your middle tie off point, you basically tie off your top line. So we'll take that. As you can see, that's now created a nice side space there. Now we're going to do exactly the same on, on the opposite side. Okay, so at this point you got yourself a shelter. Now I've got one extra step that I do on my shelters that I build. So if we go around the back, I will show you that. So as you can see, got this slope here and obviously on this the back end of the shelter you don't have as much height so what I like to do is I like to pick that up a little bit and the way you do that is with the extra pole So this doesn't give you that much extra space, but it sort of helps to tort everything off. You could run a ridge line right over it and pick up both of your tie off ends to lift it up a bit more. But as I said, it's a nice little shelter. It's very light and you know what? It, it, it's fine the way it is originally, but I like to add that onto it. These top shelters are absolutely brilliant. They're lightweight. Um, versatile 
You can readjust the door so you can sort of bring the door in closer that you can close it up a bit more. Um, you can take the door out a bit more so that you got more air. And the beauty about this is right in this section here, you could have a little fire and that would draw all the warmth into there. So it's, it's really good. I'll show you a bit of the inside so you can have a look at the space type of space that you've got in there. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of space there. I'm now inside and I could lay all on that side there and on the side that I'm sitting, I could actually just put all my gear there. So it's, it's very spacious, absolutely brilliant shelter this. This is the whole setup. 